metals and non-metals. Introduction The materials have a great importance in our life. Everything in this world is made up of some kind of material. The materials which are made up of similar type of atoms are called elements. For example, carbon, oxygen, aluminium, sulfur, etc. Elements are classified into three types. Metals, non-metals and metalloids. In this chapter, you will study physical and chemical properties of metals and non-metals and their uses. Elements, metals, non-metals, metalloids. Metals. Metals are elements that are hard and shiny in appearance. Some metals used in our daily life are iron, copper, gold, silver, etc. Metals conduct heat and electricity. Non-metals. Elements that generally do not shine, neither too hard nor too soft, are non-metals. All gases are non-metals. Some non-metals are sulfur, carbon, oxygen, etc. Metalloids. Elements which have some properties of metals and some of non-metals are called metalloids. Some examples are arsenic, germanium, etc. Physical properties of metals. Physical state. Metals are solid under normal temperature and pressure. The exception to this is mercury. Color. Most metals are generally silvery grey. An exception to this is gold and copper, yellowish. Appearance. All metals are shiny. The typical shine of metals is called metallic luster. All metals have a typical metallic luster. An exception is calcium. Hardness. Most metals are hard. The exception here is sodium and potassium, which are soft enough to be cut by a knife. Osmium is so hard that it can scratch glass. Tensile strength. Metals have the capacity to withstand extension along its axis. This property is called tensile strength. It is the property that owes the use of iron for the construction of railway tracks. Malleability. Metals can be hammered into very thin sheets. This tendency of metals is called malleability. Aluminium makes use of this property to transform into silvery foils. Ductility. Metals can be drawn into thin wires. This property of metals is called ductility. Example, copper wires. Conductivity. Metals are good conductors of heat and electricity. Silver and copper are very good conductors of electricity. Density. Metals generally have high density. Sodium and potassium have exceptionally low density. Sonority. On being hit, metals produce a typical sound. They are said to be sonorous. This property is being made use of in making temple bells. To demonstrate that metals produce a ringing sound when struck. Strike a metal utensil with a metal spoon. Note the kind of sound emitted. Now, stroke a piece of coal with the same spoon. Do you find a difference in the kind of sound produced? Most metals produce ringing sound when struck, that is they are sonorous. Non-metals are not sonorous. Physical properties of non-metals. Physical state. Non-metals occur as solids, liquids or gases at normal temperature. For example, sulfur, phosphorus occur in solid state while bromine occurs in liquid state. Gases like oxygen, nitrogen, etc. occur in the gaseous state. Color. 
non metals are available in a variety of colors appearance non metals have a dull appearance graphite and iodine are exceptions as they are shiny and lustrous malleability and ductility non metals can neither be beaten into sheets nor can be drawn into wires thus they are neither malleable nor ductile they are rather brittle conductivity non metals do not conduct heat and electricity they are insulators the exception here is graphite which is a good conductor of heat and electricity density non metals are generally soft and have low densities the exception here is diamond which is the hardest naturally occurring substance tensile strength non metals can be broken easily they have low tensile strength sound non metals are non sonorous they do not produce sound when hit by an object chemical properties of metals and non metals metals and non metals react differently with different substances however almost all metals show a similar behavior whereas all non metals show similar behavior reaction with oxygen metals metals react with oxygen to form metal oxides which are basic in nature 4na plus o2 gives 2na2o sodium plus oxygen room temperature sodium oxide 2mg plus o2 gives 2mgo magnesium plus oxygen heating magnesium oxide 2cu plus o2 prolonged heating 2cuo copper plus oxygen gives copper oxide gold no reaction with oxygen non metals non metals combine with oxygen to form non metallic oxides which are either acidic or neutral in nature nitrogen plus oxygen gives nitrous oxide nitrogen plus oxygen nitric oxide nitrogen plus oxygen nitrogen dioxide c plus o gives co carbon plus oxygen gives carbon monoxide c plus o2 gives co2 carbon plus oxygen gives carbon dioxide 2h2 plus o2 gives 2h2o hydrogen plus oxygen gives water reaction with water metals different metals react with water under different conditions 2na plus 2h2o gives 2naoh plus h2 vigorous reaction sodium plus water cold gives sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen 2mg plus h2o gives 2mgo plus h2 magnesium plus water boiling gives magnesium oxide plus hydrogen gold silver copper plus water has no reaction even at high temperature non metals non metals do not react with water they are however reactive in air it is for this reason that phosphorus is stored in water reactions with acids metals most metals react with dilute acids to form a salt and hydrogen gas 2na plus 2hcl gives 2nacl plus h2 vigorous reaction sodium plus dilute hydrochloric acid gives sodium chloride plus hydrogen mg plus 2hcl gives mgcl2 plus h2 rapid reaction magnesium plus dilute hydrochloric acid gives magnesium chloride plus hydrogen copper plus dilute hydrochloric acid has no reaction even at high temperature to show that metals react with oxygen to produce basic oxides hold a piece of magnesium ribbon with a pair of tongs over a flame after some time the magnesium burns with a dazzling flame collect the white ash of mgo thus formed in a glass dish dissolve a little mgo in water taken in a test tube test it with red litmus the litmus will turn blue showing that the solution is a base non metals non metals do not displace hydrogen from dilute acids this is because non metals are not able to give electrons for the reduction of hydrogen ions some non metals however react with concentrated oxidizing acids 
to form corresponding oxy acid sulfur plus concentrated nitric acid gives sulfuric acid plus nitrogen dioxide plus water to show that non metals react with oxygen to form acidic oxides take sulfur in deflagrating spoon and heat it as soon as it starts burning introduce it into a gas jar and cover it with a lid after the sulfur stops burning remove the spoon add a small amount of water into the gas jar quickly replace the lid and shake the jar so that the gas form dissolves in the water test the solution with blue litmus paper it will turn red showing that the solution is acidic reaction with bases metals metals react with bases to form hydrogen gas 2 NaOH plus Zn gives Na2ZnO2 plus H2 sodium hydroxide plus zinc gives sodium zincate plus hydrogen non metals the reaction of non metals with bases is complex caoh2 plus cl2 give cao cl2 plus h2o calcium hydroxide plus chlorine gives bleaching powder plus water displacement reactions metals more reactive metals replaces the less reactive metal in their aqueous solution this is called displacement reaction cuso4 plus zn gives znso4 plus cu copper sulfate plus zinc gives zinc sulfate plus copper electrochemical series it is a series in which the elements are arranged according to their reactivity potassium k is most reactive and gold au is least potassium k is followed by na ca mg al zn fe pb h cu hg ag pt and au non metals certain more reactive non metals displace less reactive non metals from their salt solution chlorine displaces bromine from bromides and iodine from iodides 2 kbr plus cl2 gives 2 kcl plus br2 potassium bromide plus chlorine gives potassium chloride plus bromine 2 ki plus cl2 gives 2 kcl plus i2 potassium iodide plus chlorine gives potassium chloride plus iodine uses of metals and non metals metals iron is used for making bridges engine parts iron sheets and bars copper is used for making electrical wires and cables silver and gold are used for making jewelry in decorative purposes and photography mercury is used in thermometers and barometers because of its high density and uniform expansion and different temperature aluminum is used in electrical wires and cables lead is used in automobile batteries x-ray machines etc non metals carbon diamond is used for making jewelry cutting and grinding equipment graphite is used in making pencils and crucibles sulfur is used in the manufacture of gunpowder and vulcanization of rubber phosphorus is used for making matchsticks rat poison etc nitrogen is used for manufacturing nitric acid and ammonia chlorine is used as a bleaching agent and for sterilizing water hydrogen is used as a rocket fuel and in oxy hydrogen flame for cutting and welding purposes as well as reducing agent